Water broke. Water broke? Yeah. Y'all on your way to the hospital? Yeah, we're cleaning all the water off the floor now, but we're about to leave very soon. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll be hearing from you, so keep me posted. <laughs> so she ain't in no pain or nothing, just the water broke? Nah, no pain. She was cramping all night until uh -huh. uh, and I fell asleep and she woke me up. It's about midnight here now. So, so yeah, there's one all over the floor. She's dripping still. <laughs> Talk about how much is actually coming out. We'll be on our way. We just went to the doctor and the doctor said he's coming tonight. You definitely see it. Yeah. Make it to she was like, you won't make it to Saturday. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> when we were there, she said he's not going to last till Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday. At the appointment. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's right, exactly. I'm sure you're so I've been having back pains all day though. Yeah, all day, back pains. So. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're going off to the hospital, pups. We'll be back with baby brother, okay? <laughs> We'll be back. Uh, we'll be back. How are you doing? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm like shaking. This is so surreal. Yeah. So we are uh, now at the hospital getting checked in. And uh, we're ready to get this show on the road. Down ready. Alright guys, so we are now checked into our main room, the room that she'll be delivering in. Um, so we moved out of a smaller room where they kind of just do triage work and now we're actually official. Um, so there's the pregnant lady back there um, getting, you know, hooked in, just did like information with the nurses and things like that. Um, yeah, the yeah, nurse is really good, you know, so far, you know, she's really nice, really informative, you know, just clear and communicating what's going on. So. Um, so yeah, so I guess I can do a quick tour. So this is like the uh, desk, desk space, got a TV there. This will be the bed for the baby slash, it's not an F, F, actual incubator, but so you got a table here or a counter there. Um, and then here's all of her space. There's a cool little chair over there. It looks pretty comfortable. I'll probably hang out in there once I up I don't know what's in there but this is the bathroom um, yeah so here's the bathroom and uh, it's cool because they'll actually let you depending depending on the doctor uh, they could let her labor in the actual tub so I think it provides more comfort for her so yeah and then this will be my bed it actually pulls out so I'll do my bed. Um, I'm tired. She's tired. It is 1:47 a.m. <laughs> we are, uh, as you see, moving around. Out moving. Yeah, trying to get things going. Um, we're all we ate. 
which makes everybody feel better. Yeah. Right? When you're not, you're not yourself and you're hungry. So we just don't lapse. We don't lapse. We got little 30 minute spurts to kind of move around. So it's our first time. It's your first time out. I know. Out the room. So it's been a, it's been a while. I get, those, those rooms get small. <laughs> So get the room. The room got small after a while. It's funny because we first we did our site tour. We we're like, man, this room is so big. But yeah, you spend nine hours and you're like, all right, I need to get out of this place. So, so yeah, just uh, going through the process. Going through the process, guys. This is our first one. So shout out to you that have done this before. We're just enjoying the journey. We are by ourselves, which is another kind of cool or different dynamic. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't. So it's, it's, it's all in God's hands. Part of living, what's going on? What's up, what's up? So, the time is now four o'clock. Four o'clock. Um, we're going at it for, what does this make, 16 hours? Uh, let's see, noon was 12. Yeah, 16 hours. Now we're going at it. Um, contractions are actually starting to feel like something now, which is good. Um, Jazz is back there on her ball. How you feeling, love? Let him know. What's the dilly? She feels like her back is ripping apart. Um, yeah, so she's kind of in that struggle phase, if you will. I think she's got what they call it the wall. You have to get to a point. I have to get to the wall far away from now. But she hasn't eaten since breakfast. The only thing she can have is popsicles and ice chips. Uh, you know, it's kind of her current situation. And then being attached and tied to a whole bunch of strings and cords and devices. So, um, you know, so I'm sure it's super inconvenient for her. Um, I'm just kind of hanging out, trying to help as much as I can. Uh, took a little nap. I think you do you took a little nap. Yeah, because they're coming in like every 30 minutes. Come in. Oh, that you're sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what, what, they've, what they've told and they've consistently been saying is, we need to see you in pain. You know, your contractions need to be to a point where we see you in pain before we even decide to measure you again. So, here we go. Uh, got a 
love her here, relaxing. Um, we just went to war. <laughs> we just went through a battle. So, um, so Jazz, she just got an epidural. You know, she fought as long as she could. Really wanted to go natural and do a natural birth. Um, you know, without an epidural, but things just wasn't progressing to the point that we wanted them to. And you know, she was really having a difficult time with pain. I mean, it's killing her. So she fought long, fought hard, um, labored for 19, 18 hours, 18 hours naturally before the epidural. Um, and then that past, that last like three hours was really rough. Um, you know, just, I mean, they were back to like every two to three minutes, back to back to back, just rough. Yeah, and she was throwing up, just from pain, shaking really going through and putting a lot of stress on her body so it's one of those things where you know you got to be able to adapt and you know she's burning a ton of energy in the laboring so it's going to reduce her ability to push which is <laughs> the part that you need the most energy for you know so um so you know it was the best decision you know she's more comfortable now relaxed now she can rest up and uh, get ready for big moment that we've all been waiting for yeah yeah so so yeah love she, she's my she's my hero um she's been she's been she's been hanging on she's been hanging on you know, and even when she didn't even when she didn't have the strength you know she still pushed through you know and just kept going kept going you know so she did a really good job. I think it, it's it's one of those things that, you know, these are kind of those defining moments. You know, this is probably the hardest thing anybody, man, woman, boy, or girl, could do. You know, but, you know, so it's just like the fact that she was able to do this for quite, you know, for that long. I'm super proud of her. So, uh, so yeah. So I mean, it's just us. Um, you know, we've been kind of talking and FaceTiming. And I've been everybody, you know, kind of been knowing that she's laboring. So my phone has been. You know, a lot of people have been texting me and I've been sending out updates to everybody uh, that way. So, uh, so yeah, so we're about to relax, chill. Um, I'm tired. Just, you know, I'm not as tired, I don't think, as she is. But, you know, making sure I was supporting her. <laughs> yeah. But making sure I was supporting her was really important. Um, thanks, love. Thanks. That's my love, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there she is, in all her glory. Uh, so pretty much after the epidural, I pretty much went out of active labor, and she checked me three hours after I the last check when I was four and a half, and I was only five, and so she put like this. Um, contraction monitor in to kind of see if they can get a, a greater estimate of like how strong it is and based on the numbers it was she said 70 and up is like good but mine wasn't hitting 70 technically so basically the doctor came and said pretty much I don't believe you're in active labor um, we're gonna up pitocin again <clears throat> and we so upped it up to 18. We waited about maybe 45 minutes to an hour, and they put like this peanut thing in it, and my the peanut ball in my legs. And basically, me and Justin just talked, and we're like, it's been over pretty much over like 26 now, it's one o'clock. He has no amniotic fluid. You know, my blood pressure is fine, but the risk of infection is increasing. I'm not dilating, I only dilated six centimeters in like 26 hours. So, um, <clears throat> we just said that we would just do a C-section. I would rather do it than to sit and wait, hoping that I get to 10 in a reasonable time. And then maybe, it's been so unpredictable, <clears throat> sorry, unpredictable so far, I don't want it to get urgent where now they have to rush me somewhere or the baby's heartbeat you know it's 
it's so unpredictable. So me and Justin just kind of agreed. I would rather him come out while everything's good and just, you know, deal with C-section. So they just numb me up and we're packing everything up. They're about to transport me. So we're doing a C-section. Our birth didn't advance as much as we would like. Uh, it's been over 24 hours, it's been 26 hours, and Jasmine is six centimeters dilated. She needs to be 10 centimeters to actually push out the baby. So um, for the sake of the baby, for the safety of Jasmine, we're gonna do a C-section. Um, so we just have peace about it. So um, I'm getting ready to suit up. Our room is packed up. As you see, it's all behind me looking crazy. Um, so I'm getting ready to suit up and then They've taken Jasmine already, and um, I'm gonna meet her there. So, um, next clip, I will be a father. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy, but um, really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, it's been, it's been uh, quite the anticipation, quite the, quite the uh, time building up to this point, to this moment. So, um, excited, excited to meet my son. Excited to start our brand new life together and um, excited for that little kid to, uh, <clears throat> man, whew, from the, excited for that kid to reach stars and do things that <clears throat> I haven't even done. So, uh, so I'll see you next clip. Here I go. I knew I should have been a uh, surgeon. <laughs> but um, I'm all scrubbed out. Got my gear on. Um, so I'm set up from top to bottom. And uh, getting ready to do this thing. So um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Christina, the chargers. We good? Thank you guys. Mr. Thank Justin. you all. And I'm Justin. <laughs> 